from addressing protocols when a weapon that is thought to be in a school to communicating better with students and edu edu educators when, the, when they know the school is under lockdown. But most of the meeting focused on a new crisis alert system that's ready for use. You are the first line of defense. In this badge will be on every staff member in the Olathe School District when school resumes this fall. A new safety measure added in to encourage their staff. Just the way it's going to empower our staff, you know, even if they never have to press the button, the fact that they know they can. is. But the addition of this new technology comes in part after a student, Jalen Elmore, charged with capital first degree murder, fired at a school resource officer. The district released their lessons learned from that day that shocked the community. The rapid response by our first responders um, was just incredible. School leaders said the calm of the staff, the quick lockdown, and of course, the rapid response by the SRO were vital in making sure this wasn't any Worse, but they also talked about what went wrong on that March day. Need to communicate more frequently with the staff and frankly with the students during that time was, was a lesson learned. They also included in that protocol what to do when a weapon is believed to be in a school. With just a click of the button located on the crisis <coughs> alert badge. But now a new day in the district. Uh, th this this badge can help with and it can help it can help summon summon help quite quickly. A new crisis alert system that works with the click of a button. They say notifying the proper person, whether that's a police officer or a nurse. They say the device is to be respected. We want students to know about this. That this is not this is not a secret to them. The system is not the only new thing that will be coming to the district. For a full list, you can go to fox4kc.com. I also want to mention that the assistant superintendent says that the Olathe School's internal investigation of what went wrong at Olathe East on March 4th will be completed in the next 60 days.